In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a template like this and turn into a website that looks like this. This is the website I designed for my client. So what I did is uh, focus on conversion mechanics to increase the conversions for their website, as well as make it look beautiful. So as you can see, it, is, it has pretty much a lot of similar structure that the template had, but obviously it all customized for their needs. I want to just uh, show you how to take this template to make into uh, this. And the first thing is that in Figma file, uh, you would want to customize all the illustrations because you can see here on the website, they have a custom illustrations. And uh, if you go here, the illustrations are totally different. The, it is not related. So this project is for AI solutions for personal business and finance. And this was for AI power solution for salons and studios. So I took all of the illustrations, they're all in vector and I customized them for the client's project. So as you can see, if I go to the feature next to AI page and uh, obviously it all customized and we have uh, more pages. If we go to beauty industry, the structure I took is from this website. So that's why it converts very well because this website was built with a conversion in mind. And all I had to do is to take the same structure and transform it for my client's needs. So we have a... Uh, this page, this section. What I would recommend to you do when you try to build a website based on a template, try not to remove some of the sections. This section seems not necessary here for some project, but I anyway kept it, but I customized it for my client, Wynex Saloon, and here it says best AI in 2024. So you can change the text, you can change it to look uh, differently and to be different text, but just keep it the same structure. So the next we have a feature section and they also had feature section. We have here integrated with a hundred apps. I had integrated with e-commerce. So you can change text, you can change, but try not to change a lot of the structure because if you don't have any design experience, then it could look differently and then it could look off. And that's why when the business owners try to make their own website, even using a template, the result is not often as they would want to be. The next template that I want to share, by the way, this template is not affiliated with me. You can just type in uh, Google Innova Framer and you will find this template here. You can uh, purchase it directly from Framer Marketplace if you like it. This is not my template. Um, just uh, use it for my client and I think it would work very well for AI project. And uh, as well as uh, this template, it also not my template, you can type by Resolve Framer uh, in Google and you will find this template. I also turned this into a my project, one of my client's project. So we can see here that it's look pretty much similar. This has very less colors. So as you can see, there are very less colors, very blonde website. So I turn it into more colorful with uh, some uh, nice, uh, nice Benta cards. Uh, so let me just quickly open up Figma and show you how I made this. So first I made all of these cards in Figma. I customized it for a client's needs and we have a, this organized feedback without effort. So we have this section as well here. Uh, it was not in the template. As you can see, the original template has somewhat uh, sections that doesn't work for AI project that I need. So that's why I needed to customize it for the client's needs. And yeah, it looks a little bit different. We have few sections on the client's website. So we have the feature sections here and we have next, uh, if this is you, we're not the right product. This section was not in the template. Sometimes you have to create something from scratch for your client when you don't have uh, in the template. Uh, yeah, and we have footer at the end. So yeah, this took probably like a few days to create all of the graphics for the website to adapt it. If you wanted to build something like this from scratch, this is probably take you a week or two weeks. This was the actually the wireframe that I took and uh, turned this into this website in just uh, two days. So you can see the illustration, how it was before and uh, how it looks right now. So it's pretty big difference, uh, the same as it was before and it looks now i changed obviously a structure to fit the content better form was it before and uh, what i made it to be here and all of this is uh, interacts with the mouse whenever you hover it uh, just becomes bigger we have a join wait list as the main call to action on this website so yeah the next template that i want to share that would work very well for your ai project is Gently framer that website, uh, also a template. You can get it from framer website. 
The main benefit of this website is just it easy, very easy to customize. For example, as you can see here on the hero section, you don't need to hire anyone to change it to your liking. You can just change the icons to represent your project. Go to just, uh, for example, Google and type uh, uh, e-commerce or cart icon PNG or SVG and just download it on your computer. And if you have like commerce website, you can just replace the icons here. And there you have the ready hero section that looks pretty cool. That has some animations already built. You don't have to change anything. Then you can just place your image here. And uh, next section is the logos. At the top, it really builds trust with your project and really helps users to see that this is a legit project and not just a scam. Next, we have some sections with the features and uh, tabs here. Generally, I do not recommend using tabs on the website, but if it's a demo version or showing something with related to your project, it's okay because users don't usually just do tabs, they scroll through. And yeah, next we have uh, some animations and uh, solution section, which would also actually work as a process section. And once the process is complete, they will get uh, the other details. Uh, any website needs uh, any AI project can use a glove for the website. So I would suggest keeping that here and just adjusting the text to whatever uh, reflects your project. They have this feature page, which is also looks really nice with all of these interactions. Whenever I scroll, we have few rows and they are animated to have parallax effect. Then we have very easily changeable section where you can just actually change the icons and change the text. Uh, then we have integrations with already pre-built animation. You just have to change the icons to your integrations themselves. The last template that I wanted to show you today is this Spice template, which has very nice interactions, very nice animation. So when you just go to the page, you can see here the text uh, changing with a nice uh, blurred animation. This, but I don't think, okay, I just hide it. So next we have this section with uh, some text. I think this website would work very well if you build uh, projects for uh, videos or photos. It could work very well here. Uh, so text to image, it has all of the prompts here, all of the inter interface details. So you can just literally uh, keep it as it is. Just change your logo, change your text. They have a lot of pages as well. So here is the feature page, which also looks really cool, really clean. Um, we have also here uh, rows with all of the features that you can add to your website. And one more thing, I like how these cards interact. If you have any related projects and if you want me to take any of these templates and customize it to your website, just click the link down in the description.